allow women to choose the price they want to pay for the most coveted handbags and accessories that either never or rarely go on sale. And unlike some other fashion websites, we actually focus on in-season merchandise while using a game-like element to build buzz and create new demand, making brands more accessible to consumers and consumers more accessible to brands. There are only five simple steps separating a member from her new It Girl handbag. In order to play, she must first purchase to buy four credits. A single credit costs 99 cents. However, she can save money by purchasing a package of credits. The larger her purchase, the greater her savings. Second, she can search through our sales to find one of the hottest handbags or accessory pieces that she wants to buy for. If a sale has not yet started, she can click Notify Me. And we will send her a reminder email 15 minutes before the sale begins. If the sale is live, she can start playing immediately by clicking Go. You will notice each sale lists the number of credits required to play. Once she enters the sale, the required credits are automatically deducted from her account. Also, once she enters the sale, she will be able to see the current price of the item. This price drops lower every second. In fact, it drops faster as more and more members join the sale. For example, if 200 members are participating in the sale, the price will drop by $100 in 10 minutes. However, if 500 members are participating in the sale, the price will drop by $250 in that same 10-minute span. She can click Buy Now at any time to lock in the current price of the item. She will then have two minutes to check out and purchase her amazing new find. The longer she waits to click Buy Now, the further the price will drop. But don't wait too long. There's only a limited amount of inventory in each sale, and as soon as it's sold out, the game ends. But don't worry, even if she missed out on that amazed Marc Jacobs satchel, we'll follow up with her afterwards by email with a gift card or another incentive for her to make a purchase from the same brand she was just vying for. In the end, she always feels like she won, and brands get one of the most cost-effective marketing techniques in years. We make money in two ways. First, we collect the markup between the wholesale cost of an item and its final sale price on the site. Second, we collect entrance fees from each player. In this example, we collected $300 in revenue from the sale of the merchandise and $200 in entrance fees. Once we cover the $200 cost of the merchandise, this results in a gross margin of about 60%, significantly higher than the 35 to 40% average gross margins at traditional retailers. Now, how are we actually going to attract all these lovely users? Well, first we looked at our ARPU numbers to determine how much we could spend to acquire a user. Now, if we assume a typical member participates in two or three sales per month and spends about $2 in fees each time, this results in an ARPU between $50 to $75. Next, we looked at our current conversion rates for our pay-per-click ads, SEO work, and our referral program to estimate how much it would cost to acquire a user under each scenario. And because we are using highly targeted long-tail keywords, we actually end up spending far less per user on our, both our pay-per-click and our SEO work. Also, fashion plays like this tend to be highly viral. Already, women love telling their friends about how they were able to score an amazing deal. In addition, we give them a monetary incentive to do so. Here, we've mapped out many of our key competitors. On the bottom right of the chart are traditional retailers that sell in-season merchandise at full price. On the top left of the chart are discount retailers that sell excess or oversought inventory at a significant discount to retail. Very few, if any, retailers compete at the top right of the chart. No one is able to buy in-season merchandise at the full wholesale cost and resell it for a significant discount because it's just not profitable. However, due to the unique structure of our sales, we found a way to differentiate ourselves in this space. The value proposition for brands is just as strong. Many brands spend hundreds of millions of dollars on traditional print and television advertising each year. And that's not to mention pay-per-click ads, in-store merchandising, or fashion events. In the same way that Groupon's local shops typically see a huge spike in business after a Groupon sale, we offer luxury brands a similar value proposition by helping to create buzz around their in-season merchandise just as it's hitting the department store floors. 
we've created an enviable team of retail, technology, and finance talent at Survive For, and we are confident we can turn this business into a billion dollar phenomenon. Thank you. To, to Vi4. Um, I'm going to. Don, you're our resident fashion expert. <laughs> to dive, uh, yeah, to buy uh, for. That's true. <laughs> beautiful site, uh, very well done, very high quality. Thank you. Uh, beautiful merchandise, but I'm not your customer. Uh, no, you're not. Like so it's <laughs> <laughs> clearly. She just not. wants to make that very uh, clear. You're you, not, you could not, walk no. on it, Don. Yeah, well, I'm converting you know, to Google, I'm, I'm dressing down. So anyway, uh, your market is women. Yeah. So how do you get to the women that buy this very high quality uh, clothes and accessories and all that kind of stuff? What's right. Well, I mean, I think in the similar way that Guild Group did, I mean, they started with their own network. I mean, Suzanne and I are my co-founder. We, we are the target customer, you know, women who live in New York City, who, you know, know who Proenza Chule is. Like, those women are our friends. And you start with your network and you kind of work out from there. You know, we give women, um, we say, up to $100 to refer a friend. So they have this huge monetary incentive to invite friends. And about 65% of Guilt Group's members were referred by a friend. So these techniques, a lot of times, are extremely viral. Perhaps I missed it, but is there a social network aspect to this where you can bring your friends into the deals? Um, I mean, intrinsically in the game, the, the price will drop faster as more of your friends join the sale. So you're incentivized in that way to invite your friends. We're also working on... Uh, sort of like integrating Facebook into that so you can invite your friends while you're playing the game from Facebook and it's just super simple. Cool. Uh, on? Oh, Loic. Oh, sorry. Either, either Julie or Loic. Go ahead. So I'm, I'm interested in um, any trials that you've done of this because if your friends are all vying to buy the high-end Alexander McQueen product and then you all show up at the party wearing it, um, is, you know, is it this high-end merchandise really uh, consistent with a gaming cut-rate approach given the way you're going to acquire no, I, I understand customers. what you're saying. Um, I mean, very much in the way that a lot of the sample cell sites made these kind of, this kind of a discount play, very high-end and very luxurious. Part of the reason that they were able to do that, it was extremely exclusive. You had to be a member, and there's a very limited amount of inventory. So, I mean, in a typical sale, we may only have five handbags available and 500 women playing. So you still have that element of scarcity, which is necessary for brand value. Loic, aren't brands like bored about all of those discount sites, even if yours is innovative and different? Like how, how are you going to source, how are you going to make sure you get that Chanel bag or? Well, uh, Chanel doesn't even work with guilt, so I highly doubt they're going to work with us. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, we work directly with the brands, and you know our category is really. I mean, we position it as kind of very high-end luxury to the consumers, but the price point is really about a three hundred dollar to an eight hundred dollar bag. So that falls in kind of that aspirational contemporary category of maybe. No, like I understand the, the consumer side, but the brand side, like, do they care really? Like, how do you get the? Right. So I mean, for them, it's it's a marketing ploy, right? So you know, they sell you know fifty bags. They do one sale with us. Um, at a discount, and then they sell 5,000 more afterwards, or some other you know, items at, at full price later on. So that's something that we really focus on. That's part of the kind of Groupon element of the site, in that we really encourage women, after they play, to make a purchase at full price. And if you look at the sample sell sites now, about 20% of the customers of those sites end up making a purchase from the same brand at full price later on. And that's without any incentives to do so. So we are really trying to make that conversion a little bit more immediate. Which, which ones are the first items you're going to have? Or you have uh, our first sale will be uh, marked by Mark Jacobs' classic Hugh Hilly I Hobo in black. John? Important point, do you get a percentage of those follow-on sales too? I'm sorry? Do you get a percentage of the follow-on sales? Yes, we would sales? get affiliate revenue. Um, it's usually 8 to 15 percent for retailers from that as well. John, we have about 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, my thoughts are, you know, sales are event-based, so I could see virality and social and that kind of whole ecosystem multiplying this. I, I like the idea. I would say, you know, you guys are going to focus here in the U.S., but at some point to consider international markets, I think Asia might be a pretty good environment for something like this. I would definitely agree with that, um, especially in Asia with the kind of the rising middle class, and there's a huge kind of awareness of luxury brands and, and logos and labels uh, in Asia right now. So. On the list. Okay, we're out of time. That's two by four.
which, uh, which brings us already to the, the fourth and uh, final, the last, but by no means least of our four.